I have this whole expanse of parking lot in front of me, but I still feel like I should have backed out of my parking spot. One word or phrase to describe this movie. Channing Tatum makes a surprisingly good hillbilly. The force is strong with Adam Driver. You had your chance to do that later this year. Why waste it now? Who's this movie for, Taryn? I think we're right in that, like, demographic, at least geographically wise. Yeah, I wouldn't take your kid to it, but not that it's bad or anything, just that I think they would get bored with it. Our age and up, like, you'll, you'll, you'll really enjoy it. It is the Southerner's Ocean Eleven. It, it's the Ocean 7-Eleven as they uh, like coined I, it in the movie. It's the exact same formula, which I don't know if I'm upset about, because the formula works, it does lead to a good story, but at the same time, it's like, the only element of the story you changed was instead of suave, you know, gentlemen of fortune, they're just red backwoods rednecks. West Virginians, right? I thought it was enjoyable. I thought it was something interesting for each of the uh, people in the cast. You know, I've never seen Daniel Craig or Adam Driver or Channing Tatum ever put on a southern, or I guess not really southern, but a, a Virginian accent in this one. So it was interesting to see them doing something outside of their normal uh, thing. I, I enjoy getting to see Adam Driver do different stuff outside of Star Wars and Channing Tatum outside of just dancing all the time. And then Daniel Craig not having to be James Bond and talk with a posh English accent. It kept you guessing, so I thought the, the story was good. And I think the only thing that took uh, the only thing complaint I would really have about it, Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane. It, yeah. He just felt completely out of place. He, nobody told him this wasn't the sequel to Talladega Nights. <laughs> As someone who has, you know, dealt with, you know, country music at the very mm -hmm. least, it did a really good job of staying true to that culture. Yeah. It did a really good job mm -hmm. of like not just country culture, but racing culture of everything that they were talking about made sense. Everything that they were talking about, like, there were reasons behind it. Just what it wasn't just a hillbilly take on Ocean's Eleven. There right. was actual logical sense behind yeah. everything that they were doing in the it's, movie. It was like Ocean's Eleven had been directed by the Coen brothers. Do you think people should see it now? Wait till later? Maybe cable or burn it with fire? I'm sort of in between two of the options. Okay. Of, I would say either see it in theaters or wait for it to come out on DVD. Or digital. Or digital HD, whatever floats your boat. Overall, it was a really good comedy. It was a solid, like the parts that were supposed to be funny were funny. The parts that were supposed to be more serious and heartfelt, that, that one scene in particular, that yeah, you, yeah, you felt it. Yeah. I enjoyed watching it and I would gladly see it again. I would say go watch it in theaters if you can. It's definitely a change of pace, like I said, from all the blockbusters and bigger budget movies. This is something that's an enjoyable experience and it's funny and I, I think it's also something that um, almost anybody can go watch it and get something out of it and enjoy. That's about all we have for today, or tonight, I guess, since it's, you know, one o'clock in the morning. We're don't, gonna... don't be picky, you're getting two this week. It's, 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 yes, exactly. Um, so uh, we'll catch you guys hopefully in a couple days, and until then, we'll see you next time.